A key piece of any strong relationship is safety and trust. And I want a strong relationship with Odoo Reports Builder, but lately I just don't feel safe. So before we get into the technical aspects of building reports in Odoo 17, we need to get to a place where we feel safe. I don't know that we'll ever be what we were before, but I'm hoping we can get back to a good place. So the good place we need to get to is to where we have customized reports that we know Odoo is not going to overwrite. We want to make sure that any hard work we put into this is not going to have to be repeated over and over. Okay. I want to feel safe. You want to feel safe. Let's get into this. So here we are in one of our favorite haunts with Odoo. We're going to go into cells and we're going to go up to studio and then we're going to go into reports. Now, as the memories come flooding back, remember we're here to get to a safe spot to get to where we can work with Odoo reports. So we want to be able to customize existing reports. So you'd think that the first thing we might do is come in and duplicate this real quick. Sadly though, this is no longer a safe way to act in this relationship. So let's go ahead and go in here and let's go to edit sources. So the reason I don't feel safe in here is because if I come in and I click this, which is supposed to be the view that we're on, it now gives me this T call, which I can't do anything to edit. I can't come in here and I can't change anything. That's going to be a problem for me. So to get to where we feel safe, we're going to go ahead and create a new report here. Now this is going to face externally and we'll talk about the containers that we have in Odoo a little bit more later, but essentially external gives us our header and footer, internal gives us a, a minimal header and footer, and then we have blank. Now these quotations are gonna be external, so we're gonna select external. So now we're gonna go ahead and duplicate our tab and we're gonna come back out and go to the report that we're wanting to copy go to the view that we want to copy here and we want to get everything beyond line two all the way down to line 173 here okay we don't want to take out these t tags so go ahead and copy that we're going to come over here come to this view and we're going to go ahead and paste in here and save so now you see we have an exact copy but the thing that makes us safe here is that it's in a view that Odoo doesn't recognize as something that it needs to upgrade or change. This helps us feel safe because we know whatever work that we're going to do, Odoo won't override it down the road. Now there are a few other points to help us to feel safe. Safety also comes from understanding the person or system, awkward, that we're in a relationship with. Odoo's report builder works with a system of inheritance. All the views you see here, other than ones that have this customization in them, you really don't wanna to touch those. So why don't you wanna to touch these? I mean, beyond the fact that Odoo gets cranky when you do. These other views are basically containers for your reports. Remember when we looked at external, internal, and blank? Those are containers that your report then goes into. If you change any of these containers, it ripples on throughout the rest of the system and changes any other report that is in that container. The last thing we need to do to feel safe is version control. These reports can be a bit finicky, and especially if you aren't really confident inside of Odoo, what you'll wanna do first is whenever you get something right, you create that as V1 or V2, the next version, and then you duplicate the report so that you can then work on the next step and make sure that you don't mess up all the stuff that you got right already. So say we got V1 already right here. We've got sales order report and we've got our nice little sales order report here, which we really should rename. So we're gonna come into this and we're going to say quotation, oh, if I can spell today, V1. We're going to go back out here now that it's saved, let's refresh, make sure we're good. Okay, quotation V1. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate this and continue on our merry way, knowing that now, because we have a V2, our V1 is safe, and any changes that we make once we're confident they work, we can go ahead and move on to the next version as well. So we've all been hurt by what Report Builder has done to us, especially recently, but we can feel safe by following these principles, we can create great reports for our companies and we can do it in complete safety. So next we're gonna talk about adjusting the reports, showing you some simple tricks, ways that you can look at the code and adjust it ever so slightly to make it work for your company. So stay tuned for that.